The UFC is a big business these days, and the biggest MMA fights have attracted massive crowds, with millions of people tuning in to see the best fighters compete. Conor, the notorious McGregor has helped the UFC skyrocket in popularity, and he understandably features prominently on the list of top pay-per-view buys. McGregor has helped to bring top MMA fighting into the mainstream, and his influence extends beyond sports. While his in-ring performances have declined in recent years, no one can deny his tremendous pulling power when it comes to crowd size. Let's take a look at some of the highest pay-per-view buys in the UFC history, and why it is fair to say that McGregor is notorious in this field. Number 5. Cerrone vs. McGregor In January 2020, McGregor took on Donald Cowboy Cerrone in the main event of UFC 246. McGregor came out swinging with a massive winging left hand to start the fight. Cerrone dodged it, and the two men locked arms. McGregor then struck Cerrone with his shoulder and elbow, which Donald claimed startled him and busted him up early. McGregor then landed a knee, and when the clinch was broken, the notorious caught Cowboy with a high kick to Donald's jaw. McGregor rushed on Cerrone as he wobbled. Donald was knocked out, and Connor continued to attack, until referee Herb Dean stopped the fight and declared it a TKO. That Saturday night in Las Vegas, when McGregor destroyed Cowboy, in just 40 seconds, 1.35 million people bought the UFC 246 pay-per-view, which was the highest grossing of 2020. Number 4. Diaz vs. McGregor 2. In August, McGregor was to fight Nate Diaz for the second time in 2016, in the main event of UFC 202. McGregor, who lost his first UFC fight by second-round submission to Diaz in March, put up a calm, calculated 25-minute effort. McGregor downed Diaz three times in the opening two rounds, but showed patience by not rushing in for the finish. That was a mistake he made in the first bout. Nate escaped the early knockdowns and came back, outstriking Connor and winning the third round. McGregor fired a strong kick to the body in the fourth round, which effectively pushed Diaz back. Nate earned his only takedown of the fight in the fifth round, just before the final bell. The battle was a bloody one, that went the distance, before Connor took the fight by decision. The rematch between the two drew 1.6 million viewers, confirming the UFC's status as an exciting sport in 2016. Number 3. Poirier vs. McGregor 2. UFC 257 took place in January 2021. This event featured a lightweight rematch between McGregor and Dustin the Diamond Poirier. They previously faced each other in a featherweight fight at UFC 178 in 2014, which McGregor won by first-round TKO. On all three judges' scorecards, Poirier lost the opening round of the fight, but the tide later turned. With calf kicks immobilizing McGregor's lead leg, the battle shifted in Poirier's advantage, and the American star shocked the UFC world by landing a series of punches, before putting McGregor down with heavy strikes in the second round, and Dustin won his rematch with Connor via TKO. The excitement of the initial fight between the two fighters, as well as the response to the rematch, helped to set up a highly anticipated third battle at UFC 264. The UFC 257 pay-per-view drew 1.6 million viewers. Number 2. Poirier vs. McGregor 3. Nobody could have imagined what was going to happen in the UFC 264 main event in July 2021 in Las Vegas. The much-anticipated trilogy battle between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor ended in disappointment. Both fighters traded punches and kicks at first until Poirier dragged the bout to the canvas. Poirier laid into McGregor's guard with a series of hard elbows and blows, after a brief guillotine attempt by the former two-division champion, came up short. Connor escaped Dustin's ground and pound, and got back on his feet, but was met with another blow from Poirier. The injury happened as McGregor made a step backward in the last seconds of the first round, and grotesquely broke his leg, thus ending the fight. Poirier was declared the winner of the trilogy, leaving McGregor with major doubts about his future. 1.8 million people saw the UFC 264 pay-per-view event. Number 1. Habib vs. McGregor. The Irishman and Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov shared the octagon in October 2018 at UFC 229. But Habib and McGregor's feud goes much further back. On a night, few will ever forget, their rivalry exploded when they finally met in the cage. Habib dominated McGregor on the ground and in the stand-up, although Connor did take a round from Habib, according to a couple of judges. The two put on a show, but in the end, McGregor had to tap out of the fight early in the fourth round. The fight was defined by the ridiculously unnecessary events that followed. Habib jumped over the cage and attempted to hit Dylan Dennis, a teammate of McGregor's, who had been verbally assaulting Habib all night. Inside the octagon, McGregor was attacked by several of Habib's teammates. Fortunately, no one was injured in either case. From the build-up to the fight itself, this was the ultimate UFC event, with a staggering 2.4 million pay-per-view buys.
If you like the content, please like and subscribe for more. Check out other incredible achievements and charismatic personalities on my channel. Link on the screen somewhere and in the description.